In this video, we're going to look at how to take drop stitches and cable them. So the first step is to knit those drop stitches, knitting each stitch, wrapping the needle three times. And we'll do this for one row or one round. It works well both ways. Wrapping each stitch three times all the way to the end. Now that we've knit one row using multiple wraps to create the drop stitch, we're going to go back and cable these drop stitches in the next row. I'm going to use a J hook or a U cable needle, and this is the best one that I've found for this technique. So I'm going to take that cable needle and pull just one wrap from each of the next three stitches onto the short side of the cable needle and then I'm going to hold that cable needle in front of my fabric and save those stitches for later. The next thing you do is take the right hand needle and knit through one wrap of each of the next three stitches, letting the extra wraps fall off the left hand needle as you transfer your knit stitch to the right hand needle. And you want to watch your tension as you do this. Your tension on the stitches that you're knitting this round should be pretty similar to your normal tension. It can be disorienting with these elongated drop stitches that are falling off of your left hand needle. The next step is to go back to your cable needle that you saved in the front of your fabric and to knit these stitches from the long side of your cable needle in the same order that you place them on the cable needle. So what that does is create a left-leaning cable because we held our cable needle in front and that just changes the order of the stitches so that the first three are now the last three in that group of six. And we're just going to keep repeating those steps all the way across this row. So six stitches at a time we're going to put three stitches onto the cable needle, hold it in front, and then knit three stitches from your left hand needle to your right. Go back to your cable needle and knit those three stitches onto your right hand needle. Again, you're just watching your tension as you do that, making sure it's matching your typical tension in your knitting. And you'll just watch me do this a few more times until I get to the end of the row, and then we'll see what this fabric looks like. Here we are at the end of the row, and once you've knit all of the stitches in these 
cable six front repeats you can stretch out your fabric and give it a little tug and see that what we have here are repeats of left-leaning cables in these drop stitches.